Hello everybody, welcome back to the Big Brother Challenge. So this is just me creating my Sims. Um, this first guy is Ethan Bridges. I did random traits for all of my Sims. Um, his aspiration is freelance botanist and his traits became neat, paranoid, and family oriented. And um, if you're just tuning in, um, I would suggest watching my first video. It's just the build of the house that they're living in. I explain everything about the show um, and how I am basing off this Let's Play off of the show and off of the original rules also um, linked in the description for this challenge. Then here's my second male sim. His name is Carl Pickett. His aspiration is Renaissance sim. His traits came out to be creative, kleptomaniac, and neat. So we do have a couple neat sims in the house, so I don't think it's going to get too messy, which is nice. Um, because we can't control the sims at all, so I can't tell them, you know, to clean up after themselves or anything like that. And I did create 16 sims for this challenge because that is how many uh, people are originally in the house for the Big Brother TV show. So I wanted to, you know, start with that many sims. It's going to be kind of crazy, but we'll see what we can do. Um, this is our third guy here, Oscar Mendez. His aspiration is Renaissance Sim as well, and his traits came out to be glutton, loner, and materialistic. I think he's the only guy that came out with like a funky colored hair. I had a little more fun with the with the girl Sims you'll see later on in this video. And of course the men don't take as long because you don't have to do makeup on most of them. Um, so here's our fourth guy. This is Philip. Peters, his aspiration is the Strangerville mystery. Don't think he'll be completing that because we're not leaving the house. But his traits, ca traits came out to be kleptomaniac, cheerful, and lazy. So he will definitely not be cleaning in the house. I have a feeling he uh, will probably become one of the first evictees from the house. And this is our fifth guy. This is Owen Robb. His aspiration came out to be Mansion Baron. His traits are clumsy, art lover, and paranoid. So that will be interesting, being paranoid in a house with 15 other sims. <laughs> so I've got quite a few paranoid sims, so that it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. I have not played any sims with that trait before, so I really don't know how it ha you know, how it, how it comes about. But anyway, our next guy is Arnold Chavez or Chavez I don't really know how you pronounce that but his aspiration is nerd brain his traits came out to be evil bro and creative because he had the evil trait I kind of wanted to make him look like a mob boss um, so that's kind of I guess this is my interpretation of that but being evil and a bro I guess will be interesting uh, an interesting grouping Interest, I don't know It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. And I did, um, I did do all most of their outfits. Um, I checked all of them except for the hot and cold weather because they don't have seasons, um, so I don't really think they wear those outfits. So, um, but I said everything else. Um, this is our Winston Stafford. His uh, aspiration is I can't remember what his aspiration is because. The one that came out on randomsim.com I didn't have that, so I don't remember what I changed it to. But his traits are bookworm, evil, and klepto. Uh, I kind of made him look like a really creepy guy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, because bookworm and evil. But this is our last guy, Bobby Lund. His aspiration is big happy family, and his traits are foodie, goofball, and materialistic. So I, I, I downloaded some like custom content dreads hairstyles and I really wanted to use one so I was glad I was able to do that. Alright and then on to our girls. Our first one here is Alexis Lankford. Her aspiration is fabulously wealthy and her traits came out to be outgoing, perfectionist, and bro. Like I said, the, the girls took so much longer because I, you know, had to edit their makeup for every outfit. You know, for the most part, they kept the same hairstyles. Usually, you know, for like formal wear, I try to put their hair up, and for active wear, 
you know, I try to put their hair up if they've got longer hair because that's what you would normally do if you were going out jogging or something and you had long hair, you'd put it up. But anyway, so here's me just editing her outfit. I did edit everybody's outfit, like I said. Um, I, last, uh, my last challenge, I'm still working on <clears throat> the socialism challenge. Uh, I made eight different sims and I didn't edit all of their clothing right away. I did later, um, but with this um, having 16 sims in one household, I can't go into cast, otherwise it will delete eight of the sims. So I had to make sure everything was exactly how I wanted. So this is our second girl. Her name is Danica Ramo Ramos. Or Ramos. Uh, her aspiration is painter. Extraordinary traits were slob, ambitious, and active. I thought, I thought slob and active together is kind of weird too, but I guess it's, slob's not the same as lazy, so I guess it, it can work, I guess. Yeah, she's very purple. <laughs> All right, and our third girl is Nyla Duke. Her aspiration is fabulously wealthy. Her traits came out to be loner, perfectionist, and hates children. There are no children in this household, so, you know, she's good there. Um, the only thing I did that I I wish I could go back and change now is I made them all young adults. Um, you know, usually Big Brother has, like, a, you know, big range of ages and personalities. I mean, personalities, you know, everything was randomized, so it's pretty pretty well spread out but they're all I, I wish I had done some you know some young adults some regular adults and you know a couple elders here and there would have made it a little more interesting but hopefully it'll be okay I can't go back in and edit otherwise I'll have to either remake the sims or I mean I guess I could move them off a lot again but it's just so much work <laughs> all right and then we've got our fourth girl our fourth girl is Haley Bernstein her aspiration is Mansion Baron. Her traits came out to be erratic, loves the outdoors, and ambitious. Now, the house has no windows because they are cut off from the outside. They do have a little outdoor area, but it is all walled off. So hopefully that counts as being outside for her. Otherwise, she's probably going to be pretty miserable. And on to our fifth girl, we have Daisy Allen. Now this one, I'm really interested to see how she interacts with the household. Her aspiration uh, is friend of the world. And then she's got her traits are goofball, gloomy, and childish. So seeing that goofball and gloomy together, I don't know how that's gonna work. <laughs> you know, I'm really interested to see how that plays out in the game. But, you know, I mean, yeah, and she wants to be friends with everybody, so, I mean, she'll probably be pretty social, so, but having that gloomy trait, I don't know if that's going to inhibit her at all or not. We'll see. Right on our sixth girl here is Hazel Davies. Her aspiration is public enemy. And then her traits came out to be materialistic, glutton, and music lover. So, because she had the music lover trait, I tried to give her the little, like, bohemian look a little bit um, with her hair. I didn't do too much with her clothes, I don't think, like, you know, bohemian, bohemian style or anything. But and Then our next girl is Letitia Parks. Her aspiration is Renaissance Sim. And then her traits came out to be vegetarian, active, and clumsy. So the active and clumsy together, 
I haven't seen either, but I'm really interested to see how that happens. Like, usually active people, like if you're active, you don't want to be clumsy because you're going to be trying to jog and you're just going to trip over your own feet. So, I think, I, I mean, I, I would love to actually see that happen in the game. That would be really funny to watch. But, we'll see how that turns out. And then we just have one more girl here coming up in just a second. This is Kennedy Sweet. Her aspiration is serial romantic. And I am not kidding you guys, because I use creatorandomsim.com to generate all of my traits. So she's got the serial romantic aspiration, and then her traits came out to be unflirty, vegetarian, and paranoid. So an unflirty serial romantic. We'll see how that happens. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in just a minute when I start this challenge, and we'll get our sims all in the house. Hello everybody, welcome to the Big Brother Challenge. So we have our 16 Sims that are about to go in this house. They will not be able to leave once they enter the house. Um, I did go through, they all had a, a relation, like 15 points relationship with each other because they're roommates I guess. Um, I did went, go through and like I cleared all their relationships so no one knows anybody um so we're just gonna get started here and we're gonna make everybody go into the house so i guess oh maybe we'll just let them go and hopefully they're going in the house so that way we can lock the gate and lock the door so they can't leave because they will not be leaving all right are you guys going you're not going. Where are you? There you are. Go in the house so we can lock these doors. All right, everyone is inside the house. So we're going to lock the door for everyone. And then we're going to lock this door for everyone. So now Everyone is in the house. No one can leave. <laughs> um, they do. They can go outside here if they would like. So now we can't control anybody. So we're just going to let people do what they do and see what happens. So um, before I actually before I start, um, the first uh the first like competition kind of thing that they're supposed to be doing is to uh, gain co gain cooking skill. So to be fair, we need to have cooking books for everybody. So we will buy sixteen cooking books. Um, we'll buy the two and three as well, just, you know, so we don't have to worry about it later. Um, we are unlimited funds here, you know, it doesn't matter how much money we have because the Sims aren't using it, um, really. We're just, we're being big brother, we're providing everything for them. So now they have access to all the cooking books. And yeah, I'm going to just put the walls down just because this is a big, a big place. Um... Looks like somebody's already cooking. So this is... Oh, we're on Thursday. Okay. Oh, that's perfect, actually, because that is what I wanted my schedule to be. So um, <clears throat> if you haven't watched the show Big Brother before, it's basically there's 16 Sims in a house. Um, they do competitions throughout the week. Um, you know, there's a head of household that wins the first competition. They nominate two people for eviction, and then throughout the week you know, people, they gain, or they talk, they, you know, gain relationships, um, with other, the other people in the house, and, um, <clears throat> then at the end of the week, so it's like, in the U.S. here, like, they do it on the airing shows, on Thursdays is the live eviction, so evictions happen on Thursdays, and then nominations, I think, happen on Sundays, 
Uh, I'm not totally sure, but that's what I'm gonna do for mine because I think that's when they that that's when it, at least that's when they air the eviction or the nominations. So we're going to work. We're gonna do. I'll probably do until noon on Friday. We'll do noon on Friday. Whoever has the highest cooking skill by then is going to be the first HOH. And then Sunday, the two Sims that have the least amount of relationship with the HOH are going to be our first two nominations. And then on Thursday, we'll check relationships with everybody to see who they are going to vote for to evict. So that's how we're going to do it here um, on my Let's Play. And we are not allowed to control anybody, so if this is really crazy, I've never had this many sims in one building before. So just seeing what everyone's doing, there's a lot of movement. Uh, I know the original rule said to not have the speakers, um, I guess because when they dance together, they gain a relationship quicker. But honestly... I don't care. <laughs> they can gain a relationship quicker by using the, you know, the, by dancing together. Go for it. I don't care. That's the point of the game is to gain relationships. So, you know, they're free to do whatever. So also, um, I did, I, 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 I used a cheat to speed up the time of the day just because I, I don't know, I thought it was going to be taking too long. I might change that back to normal, depending on what happens here. I don't know. Um, but, so Friday at noon, we will pick our first HOH, and we will also pick our first have-nots for the week. The have-nots are going to be the four, the four sims that have the least amount of the skill or whatever the competition is for that week that we're doing. So right now it's cooking, so who, the four sims that have the least amount of cooking skill are going to be our have-nots. The have-nots get to sleep in these four uncomfortable beds back here. So, yeah, that's basically the only thing we can do in the game for have-nots. Um, you know, on the TV show, have-nots also, like, I think they have to take cold showers. Um, they have to eat slop, which is a really disgusting food. So, we'll hang out with these guys back here. <laughs> this is really crazy. I think I'm going to have to slow down time because people are not sitting in one area very long. Um, so here we have Philip. So Philip is tired. He's talking to people. There's no relationships yet, though, so that's kind of weird. Did I mess up something with my cheat, maybe? Okay, no. She's got a relationship. Okay, so they, they just have to, I guess they have to talk more to gain a relationship. But yeah, he's, this guy's our lazy sim, Philip. He's gonna sleep in the hot tub. That sounds about right for a lazy sim. And um, if you watched my other videos on uh, the beginning of this, um, I talked about how I changed the diary room into more bathrooms. So they've got these three more showers, three more toilets here. There is a total of six toilets in the house. Um, it's not a lot for 16 Sims, but, you know, it works. Um, I need to make sure no one is up here because no one should be sleeping in the HOH room. I don't think anyone's up here now, so we're going to lock this door for everyone until we have an HOH, and then the, it'll be unlocked, and then just the HOH will be able to sleep in there. Oh, there is someone in there. Dang it. Um, who is that? We're just going to... We're just going to teleport him out of there really quick because... Oops. That was my camera going wonky because I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. So now there's no one in here, correct? All right. No one in the HOH room. So this is the HOH room. They get the most comfortable bed. They get their own private bathroom. Um, once we have an HOH, the door will be unlocked, so anybody can go in there. But I'm going to assign the beds so that hopefully only the HOH will sleep in the bed. So it looks like people are already having problems having to go to the bathroom. 
Um, hopefully people aren't wetting themselves and dying from embarrassment because that would be really sad. I really don't want that to happen. But I think, I think it might be because of the time. So I'm just going to really quickly <coughs> I'm going to really quickly add a computer in here so I can do that cheat. Put that cheat back. Oh, I can't put it on there. Okay. So I'm going to pause it so no one actually uses it. Um I'm going to set the time or the timing back down to normal. Um if I can remember where it was. So we'll put it back to 25. Um, maybe we'll just do 30. Why not? Um, I do have to restart the game for that. So I will save it, and then I will see you all back in just a second. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, so for some reason, after I saved the game and came back into it, it jumped to 9 a.m. on Saturday morning. So I don't know if we're going to have too much... Um, accomplished by noon but we will see um, it just looks like most people are still having problems with the bathroom and sleeping people are tired people are you know really uncomfortable from having to go to the bathroom somebody's sleeping out here there is enough room for everybody to sleep but I don't think because they don't have because they don't have relationships with each other, I think that's why they're not sleeping in the double beds together. So everybody's just like in one double bed by themselves. So that's a little troublesome. I'm, I don't know. If they're not gaining relationship fast enough, I might just have to put single beds for now. Um, because I don't want people, I want people to be able to sleep, you know, so. I mean, he's, who is that? I can't, I can't remember everybody's name. Um, Arnold was standing over there, really tired, but he couldn't get in the bed. So I think I'm just going to have to put single beds instead of double beds. Um, I'll do that off camera after this episode. Um, so hopefully the, hopefully the next one we don't have so many people wandering around really tired. So... And there's somebody has to go to the bathroom. No, somebody else has to go to the bathroom. I mean, you guys, you got six toilets. You don't have to spend all day going to the bathroom. I don't, I don't understand. I don't have any cheats going on, like, with their needs. Like, their needs aren't going down any faster than normal or anything like that. I mean, she's walking all the way down. Like, where is she going? There's three toilets right there that are open, and she's just... I don't even know. She's going to the... I don't know where she's going. Is she going to the other bathrooms? Yeah, she's going to the ones down there. The ones down there are where they are um, in the real show. Um, and there's only one. But I knew that wasn't going to work. So. Yeah, I don't know how anybody is doing with their stuff. With people sleeping in there. Let's see. Um, oh, we got a couple people. Relationships. Um, no skills. He's got a fitness skill. Okay, so Daisy has the cooking skill. She might be... Oh, Leticia has the cooking skill. Let's see who's got... Who has got cooking skill today? Because whoever has the highest is going to be our first HOH. Um, no skills, no skills, no skills. Okay, so it's between Leticia and Daisy. Um, problem is, I don't know if anybody, if they didn't know enough people to be able to dominate anybody. But, let's see. Oh my gosh, my camera keeps like trying to scroll. Stop scrolling. Okay, so she's about halfway. Oh, she definitely has more cooking skills. So Daisy, I think, is going to be our first HOH. Uh, looks like she might have just cooked something. That might be why. 
So I definitely think Daisy's going to be our first HOH. But she only knows one person. Oh, man. How are we going to do that? I don't know how we're going to have her nominate two people when she only knows one. <laughs> I might just do it, like, randomly or something. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just have to wait until Sunday. I mean, we have to wait until Sunday for nominations anyway, but we we'll <clears throat> might have to wait until Sunday to do the the have-nots and everything, too. But, yeah, I'm really surprised on how much clothes there is just lying around everywhere. Um, well, somebody did laundry because she has the option to unload it. So, I mean... I think, like I said, there. I think there's there's at least one, if not more, neat Sims in the house. So they're probably the ones doing the laundry. So let's see, is anybody upstairs? I mean, no one can go in the HOH room, but there's a chess table up there. So that's what that's what I wanted to know if anybody was, you know, using that chess table or not. Does not look like it. I guess I could put a laundry basket out here <clears throat> so people aren't throwing their clothes on the floor but yeah here's some people oh yeah let's they're making they're making relationships here you better because that girl daisy's going to be the first hoh you better make sure she likes you <laughs> Or they're just sitting in silence. That's awkward. Very awkward. Oh, she must be neat too. She's clean enough. She's like, you're the, you're gonna be the H O H. Let me take your plate. Let me just take your plate for you. You know, not not being a schmooze at all. All right. Well, it is. It is 12.30. Well, almost 12.30. So I'm just going to double check their skills. Um, I'm pretty sure Daisy is going to be the first HOH. She's almost at level 2. Hey guys, so my game and my recording crashed right here. Um, so I'm just going to really quickly tell you guys what happened. So Daisy... Um, I double checked everybody's skills. Daisy had the highest cooking skills, so she is our first HOH. And um, then all I did uh, on camera, which wasn't recorded, um, all I did was um, I unlocked the HOH room and had her claim the bed. So hopefully she will be the only one that sleeps in the bed. And because of the whole issue with everybody sleeping, um, I added single beds for everybody. So everybody will be able to sleep in a single bed on the next episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.